Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet a ball for a Christmas tree with the diameter of about three inches. The ball is uh, simple, but pretty and elegant. I will be working using a 1.95 millimeter hook white cotton thread size 10 and a little of uh, silver metallic thread for decoration we'll start here with chain 5 which we'll make into a ring and in that ring we'll make six single crochet stitches with chain 5 between them So let's start chain five. One, two, three, four, five. A slip stitch in the first chain stitch. Instead of the first single crochet, I'm making chain one and now chain five. A single crochet in the central ring. And I'm working this end of the thread in, chain 5, a single crochet, chain 5, a single crochet, chain 5, a single crochet, chain five a single crochet and now instead of the last chain five i'm going to make chain two and a double crochet in this first beginning chain which we considered to be the first single crochet like this Now in each of these chain five spaces, we'll be making a half double crochet stitch with chain five between them. Instead of the first half double crochet, we'll be making chain two and now chain five. A half double crochet in the next chain five arch, which will start uh, like a double crochet like this but we'll pull the hook through all three threads chain five start as if it is a double crochet and pull the hook through all three threads chain five a half double crochet chain five A half double crochet chain five a half double crochet chain five and a slip stitch in the second chain at the top of this half double crochet the two chains that we considered to be a half double crochet now in each half double crochet we'll be making two and chain five between those groups of two half double crochets once again instead of the first one we are making chain two and in the same place we'll make a half double crochet chain five two half double crochets instead of one one two one two three four five two here one two one two three four five two more 
One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, two here. Chain five, and the last group of two. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. A slip stitch in the second beginning chain. This is round three. Beginning with round four, we are going to start adding one half double crochet stitch to the end of each part, each sector. So we'll start with chain two as usual, and then in the next half double crochet, we'll make two. One, two. So three half double crochets instead of two, chain five. In the first one, we are making one. In the second one, we are making two. One, two, chain five. Chain five does not change, it's, it's the same throughout the pattern. One, and then two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one half double crochet, and the two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, and two here, one, and two, one, two, three, four, five, one, and two, one two three four five and a slip stitch in the second chain we have made four rounds continue working like this adding a half double crochet stitch to each part at the end instead of one half double crochet make two and work this way until you have nine half double crochets in each diamond in each part this will be round number 10 and after you crochet all 10 rounds I will show how to continue I have finished 10 rounds and now I have nine half double crochets in each part in the next round number 11 we are not going to make any changes we'll be making nine half double crochets in each part in each diamond so chain two and eight more half double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine all together counting those two chain stitches at the beginning chain five and uh, nine half double crochets one two three four five six seven 
three, nine, chain five, and so on. Finish this round this way, please. Now, when we finished 11 rounds, we'll start reducing the number of stitches in each part, but instead of doing it at the end of each diamond, we are going to do it at the beginning, not making the first stitch, but at the very beginning, we'll do it like this. First, instead of chain two, we'll make chain one, and then a half double crochet in the next stitch. These are two first stitches together, and at the end of this round, we'll make a slip stitch in this half double crochet. So this is the first stitch. Now we'll need to make seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain five. And beginning with the next part, we'll just be skipping the first stitch of each part and we'll start working in the second one. And once again, we'll make eight half double crochets in each part. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain five, Skip the first one and uh, make the next half double crochet in the second stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain five, eight stitches in this diamond, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain five, eight more, skipping the first one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, chain five, eight more, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, chain five. And uh, as I said at the beginning, a slip stitch in this first half double crochet, like this. To start the next round, once again, we'll make chain one a half double crochet in the next stitch. So this is the first two together. And we need to make six more stitches here to the total of seven. And in all of the other parts, just continue skipping the first stitch. Uh, continue working 
like this until you have only two half double crochets in each part left and after that i will show you how to make the last two rounds i have finished 18 rounds and now have two half double crochet stitches left in each diamond in the next round there will be one left so we'll make a chain one and a half double crochet chain five chain We'll skip one half double crochet, make a half double crochet in the next one. Chain five. The next half double crochet. Chain five. The fourth one. Chain five. the fifth chain five and after the last one instead of chain five we'll make chain two and a double crochet in the top of this first half double crochet of this round like this In the last round in each chain five we'll be making a single crochet and chain one between those single crochet stitches this way we'll have a small opening which we'll use later to shape the ball instead of the first single crochet make chain one and another chain one for separation now a single crochet in the next chain five space chain one the third single crochet chain one the fourth chain one the fifth chain one the last one chain one and now we'll find these two chain stitches that we made at the beginning of the round and we'll make a slip stitch in the first of them that's it you can cut off and weave in the end of the thread and we can start decorating the ball to decorate the ball i use silver thread uh, you'll need uh, approximately uh, two or three yards of thread and a needle. Start here at the bottom of the ball and um, uh, use a needle to wrap the thread around each half double crochet on both sides of each diamond. When you get here to the top of the ball, do not do anything in the middle where we have this little star just turn around and start doing the same on the other side and then move on to the next part so this is the bottom part of the ball i will insert my needle somewhere here and uh, holding the end of the thread with my left hand we'll start wrapping the thread around each half double crochet on each side like this Now the next round, the next round, and uh, so on. Try 
try not to make it too tight, but at the same time, you don't want to have too much extra thread here. So continue working like this, please, around each diamond. I have finished working on one side and uh, got to the end of this part where I have around with single half double crochet. I'll just wrap the thread around it and we'll start moving back once again using just one half double crochet in each round. One here, and so on. Continue working like this, please. When everything is uh, done, it's time to starch the ball. If you are not sure how to do it, I have a video on my channel. Watch it, please, if you want to. And after making boiled starch, soak the ball there for a couple minutes, take it out, and insert a small round rubber balloon uh, through this opening. As you can see, instead of tying the balloons, I use clips. This way, if one of the balloons loses air, it will be easy to correct the situation. I leave the balls to dry for about a day and then release the air from the balloons and take them out. When the balloon is completely dry, uh, you might want to use the same thread you used for decorating the balloon to make a loop hanger like this. This is it for today. If you liked the video, please push the like button. And if you want to be informed of all the new developments on the channel, consider subscribing and pushing the notification button. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.